Hello everyone. So today we have started a new series of articles that uh, in which we basically uh, improvise on the features that are there on the Tinder app. Uh, so we will be having the features that are there in the Tinder app as well as we will add some new features uh, which will be which will make our app much better than uh, the Tinder app that we see uh, on the App Store. So uh, let's see what feature we have added today. And uh, just to tell you that uh, this is uh, this series that we have started is uh, correlated to the previous series that we were doing. So if you are uh, new to this series, make sure you also uh, check the previous series to get a good idea of what's going on here. And uh, if you are new to our channel, make sure that you uh, check below the subscribe button and click the subscribe button so that we can keep you up to date about all the videos and the articles that we post. So now uh, let's discuss the feature that we have done today. So we see that the Tinder app has one feature of distance filter. So user can filter the uh, uh, other members by the distance. So that is really a great feature and that is what makes uh, Tinder apps stand out from uh, other apps, other dating apps. But uh, this filter is also has some uh, disadvantages and that is when you uh, go to a place where actually uh, people are not that tech savvy and they are not using this Tinder app. So if you try to uh, search, make a search, you won't find um, uh, many users or you won't find any user. So that is actually, uh, uh, that makes you like, you are unable to use a uh, app at such places where people are not very tech savvy and are not using Tinder app. So for that uh, reason, we, what we have done that we have made the distance feature optional. So suppose uh, a user of our app uh, relocates to a new place and where uh, th that is a remote place where there is uh, not much many users who are using Tinder app. So what they can do that if they don't find any uh, uh, users nearby, then they can just turn off the distance filter and then uh, they will get the list of users who are also uh, means they, they will get the list of users irrespective of distance uh, but still what we are done that we are so, uh, sorting the users by uh, their distance okay so like whoever uh, if you turn off the distance filter then you also you will get a list of users and the closest users you will get first and uh, so they are arranged by the distance but you can turn on and turn off the distance so let's see how this feature is working so here we have added a switch to turn on and turn off the distance right now the distance is turned on and the distance is set to 55 kilometers so all, we are getting the users who are within the 55 kilometers. So let's check the users. So there are three users that are within 55 kilometers. So uh, suppose, so now let's turn off the distance feature. Okay, now distance feature is turned off. Now let's see the change. Okay, now we are getting four users, okay. So now distance is uh, distance feature is not taking uh, uh, is being not taken into consideration. Okay, and but we can uh, to us and then there is Pinky who is uh, after that uh, after Kavita. So in this way the dist is they are sorted distance wise. See you can see in the code that we at the end we ha we are sorting the users uh, distance wise. Okay. So that is, uh, so now we have added uh, one cool feature to our app that is uh, that uh, the existing Tinder app doesn't have. Okay, so our app is like uh, a bit uh, 
better to the tinder apps so we will uh, in the next article also we will uh, like keep improvising on our app and uh, if you want to uh, keep yourself up to date with our tutorials articles and videos then make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, keep yourself up to date and keep uh, keep yourself connected to us so thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day